Did the Philippines really send five T-129 attack helicopters with rocket systems to the West Philippine Sea? Let's dive into this intriguing question. The T-129 attack helicopter in the Philippines' military inventory is a formidable beast in the sky. This Turkish-manufactured attack helicopter has caught the attention of several nations including Iraq due to its proven power. Recent conflicts. These helicopters equipped with advanced rocket systems are not merely battle-ready but also apt for various terrains. The West Philippine Sea, a geopolitical hotspot is recognized for its contested waters and the Philippines' territorial claims. The strategic prominence of this sea in international trade and security is indisputable. Now ponder upon the potential ramifications if the Philippines were to deploy five T-129 attack helicopters in this crucial area. Where does this assertion originate? And does it hold any truth? Let's delve deeper. To verify this claim, we need to dig deeper into the Philippines' military capabilities and strategies. The robust air power capabilities of the Philippines' military, including the presence of T-129 attack helicopters in their inventory. They operate a broad array of aircraft, from light attack and trainer aircraft, to heavy transport and utility helicopters. This brings us to the manufacturer of the T-129S. Recent news has highlighted Iraq's interest in these Turkish helicopters, but there have been no similar reports concerning the Philippines. Furthermore, acquiring such helicopters would require a significant investment and strategic shift for the Philippines. In terms of the Philippines' relations with other countries, it's crucial to note that they maintain a delicate balance. While they have long-standing ties with the United States, they also engage with China, which has a significant presence in the West Philippine Sea. Any deployment of T-129S in the area could potentially upset this balance and escalate tensions. While the Philippines has a capable military force, there's no concrete evidence yet to support the claim of deploying T-129S to the West Philippine Sea. While the claim is yet to be verified, it brings up an important discussion on the ongoing tensions in the West Philippine Sea. If the Philippines did indeed dispatch T-129 attack helicopters to the region, the geopolitical implications could be significant. Such a move would likely be seen as a bold assertion of sovereignty over disputed territories, potentially escalating tensions with other claimant nations. It's important to consider the ripple effect of such an action. Countries like China, Vietnam and Malaysia, who also have territorial claims in the South China Sea, might feel compelled to respond, further militarizing the region. This could lead to an arms race, with nations vying for dominance in a region rich with natural resources and strategically important shipping lanes. Moreover, the Philippines is turning to Turkish military hardware. This could signify a shift in their military procurement strategy. This move might be seen as an attempt to diversify their sources of military equipment, perhaps even a strategic pivot away from traditional suppliers like the US and towards emerging defense players like Turkey. As we wrap up, remember that in the world of military strategy, the chess pieces are always moving. Keep questioning, keep learning, and stay informed. Remember, knowledge is power.